Firebase is a Google technology which is used for web and mobile application development. Firebase includes databases, services, authentication, and integration for a variety of applications. Superbase is an open source alternative to Firebase. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Python program with the Superbase. Now, in order to use Superbase, you need to go to superbase.com and create a free account. So, if go to superbase.com and on the top right, click on sign in or sign up. And then once you verify your email address, then you'll be presented with this screen where you can click on dashboard. Once you click on dashboard, it will take you to this screen within the Superbase. Now in Superbase, first thing you need to do is to create a new project. So click on new project and then select your organization, which will be with your email account. Once you click there, give this project name a name of your choice and then click on this database password text box and click on generate a password. It will create a good and safe password for you and then simply click on create new project. I already have a project, so I will select that project. Once in that project, first thing you need to do is to go to settings cog on the left hand side in project settings, click there then click on API in the left. Once you click on the API, then you need to grab two things from here. First is this project URL. So click on copy. And also you need to grab private API key, which starts with EY. So click on copy and that's it. So you need to grab these two things, okay. And you can just paste them in a notepad for now. Now, in order to use Superbase, with python let me create a dummy table with some values in order to create a table you can go to sql editor on the left so click on sql editor and then click on new query a new blank query and you will be presented with this new editor now in order to create it all you need to do is to give this familiar sql command as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm creating a table test with three rows in it, with two columns, ID and name. After pasting this query, click on run here and this will create the table within the database of Superbase. In order to check it, on the left hand side, click on table editor. And then on the left hand side, it will load all of your tables. So we created the test table, so click on test. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have all the data which we have populated with IDs and name. And if on the top right, if you see, there are two tabs, one is data, the other one is definition. If you click on definition, it will give you the DDL or data definition language of this table. If you click on data, it will give you the actual data. We haven't enabled the row level security, uh, so don't worry about it for now. Okay, so we have configured Superbase, um, credentials, we have created a dummy table. Now let's see how we can access and do DML on this table from our Python program. In order to run Python, I'm using AWS SageMaker Notebook because it comes with uh, all the Python libraries installed and it really saves time. So I am already logged into my AWS account into AWS SageMaker Notebook instance. And here I'm going to run my Python code. Now, in order to run this Python code, you need to first install the Superbase library or module through pip. And let me make this screen a bit bigger. Okay. Now, let me grab my Python code. The first command, we will be installing the Superbase with the command is simple pip install Superbase. Click on play and the star shows that it is in progress. So, let it finish. And it takes a bit of a time because it installs a lot of things. So let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it has finished installing the Superbase module. Next, we are going to import this Superbase into our code. And I'm setting that URL and key, which we grabbed from this project setting. So again, go to project setting. In the API, you will see this URL and this public key. 
which starts with EY. So I already have grabbed it and I I am saving it in my um, variables. Okay, once that's done, you need to just simply use create client and then click on play. It's done, so we have created the super base client, which is great. The next step is to use our queries. So this is all you need to do in order to connect this Python code to the super base. Now let me run some select queries. So as you can see in this example, all I'm doing is I am running this super base dot table command on this test table which we created, and I'm selecting all the rows. So click here, and as you can see, it has returned us all the rows. And then next thing you can do, you can even run your um, select queries with just the column names. So let me run with just selecting the name of it. So if you click here, it will only return us the name. So no ideas this time, only the name, so it is great. Next thing, let's do some filtration on the re return result. For the filtration, all you need to do is to use e equal operator with some filter. So I'm, I I want it to only return the rows which has the name Australia in it. And as you, if you recall, we don't have anything um, with the uh, Albania or any other. So I'm just using Australia here. So it has returned me that particular row. Let me change it to Albania and see what, what it does this time. So as you can see, it has returned as an empty data set. This is what we expected. Now let me try to run some DML queries like insert, update, delete. In order to insert a row, you need to use this operator, the same table with dot insert and your ID and name. And I'm inserting, we already have Australia, so let me insert something else. I will just use Tonga here is a Pacific Island. Okay, so this time it didn't work. The reason is because this ID already exists and it's sort of a primary key. So let me clear it. And then we can change it here 12. And then Tonga. Click here. This time it succeeded and returned what it did. Now let's try to update some values. In order to update it, you need to use this command. So replace insert with update and also what exactly you want to update. So I'm asking it that if you remember, go up a little. Do we have any two? No. So let's see that we have this country Algeria with ID3. I want to update it with Romania. So let's go here. I'm saying that, okay, wherever you find a country with ID3, update it with Romania. So click here, it's done. Let's see what it did. Let me run this select again to see if it updated Algeria with Romania or not. So it did, here you can see, this is nice. Okay, now let's try to delete any, um, this Romania from the list. In order to delete it, all we need to do is to use this delete command with the ID equal to three. Play here and then let's see if it deleted or not. So I'm just selecting static, there is no Romania in that cell set. So you can see how cool is that to manipulate your data through Python in Superbase. There are a lot of other operations which you can perform, including DDL, like create table, alter table. And then because it's a full um, open source suite of Firebase, so there are a lot of other things, including APIs, edge function. Uh, authentication, row level security in Superbase, which you can perform with this Python client. So <clears throat> if you have never worked with it before, I would highly suggest you to go to the superbase.com and start playing with it. And a huge kudos to the Superbase team because their free tier is very generous. Um, because normally when I create videos, I hit some of the API limits, but in this one, I have played it a lot and never even once I have uh, encountered any limits. So hats off. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.